Let's hear what Elon Musk has to say. You know, I, I think ultimately we'll, we'll make over a million, m millions probably, of the Tesla Semi. Um, and uh, this is really going to be something that we'll, you'll see all over the place. And it'll also be uh, autonomous or have the, the ability to, to, be, to go autonomous down the road. We know there are a lot of people who don't like Elon Musk, especially these days when Elon Musk's involvement in the U.S. government has created some negative reactions. But all that aside, we have to admit that Tesla has some really good EVs. Really impressive, if not the best in the world. They have the Model Y, which is the best-selling car in the world for years on end, the best-selling Cybertruck in 2024, and they also have the best-class 8 electric truck in the world. But very few people really understand the Tesla Semi. Right now, there's no electric truck out there that can go 500 miles on a single charge. We also don't have any trucks that can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds while fully loaded, and it's pretty hard to find an electric truck that consumes just 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. There's a lot more to it, and the truth is, when it comes to electric trucks, most people only think of the Tesla Semi, even though there aren't even 300 of them on the road yet. Tesla has never spent money to advertise the big rig, and most of the buzz has come from customers, especially drivers at PepsiCo. They've gone on record saying the Tesla Semi offers a driving experience like nothing else, and they don't want to drive any other truck since they started using the Semi. If the price of the Semi is just $200,000 compared to the overall savings it offers, it's clearly a money machine, as Elon Musk once put it. Not to mention, the Semi is the first electric truck in the world with full self-driving, something most truck drivers have always dreamed of. So how will the Tesla Semi change the trucking industry? How many will Tesla produce this year? Is the idea of millions of semis being made just hype, or is it real? Let's dive into it. There's no denying that the Tesla Semi is a tough vehicle to manufacture, coming in just behind the Tesla Roadster in terms of complexity. And it's been stuck in development for about eight years, ever since 2017. So why's that? You know, building the Tesla Semi is a whole different game. Unlike other models that roll off automated assembly lines, the Semi is mostly put together by hand. Yep, you heard that right, there's no fancy robotics or fully automated process here. And to make things trickier, the factory in Nevada just isn't scaled up enough yet to handle full-on mass production. That's made developing this Class 8 truck a real challenge. So where are we now eight years later? Well, Tesla's still making a small number of Semis, but they're making progress. They're working on a dedicated Giga Semi facility, and Elon Musk says full-scale production, around 50,000 trucks a year, will kick off next year. As of now, the factory's about 68% complete. Here's the wild part. Producing 50,000 semis a year means Tesla would be cranking out big rigs at an almost unbelievable rate. If the factory runs 24-7, that's around 137 trucks a day, or about 5 to 6 trucks every hour. Basically, a brand new semi would roll out every 10 minutes, and if they go with a more typical schedule, say, 250 working days a year, they'd need to build 200 trucks a day, or one every five minutes. Crazy, right? But with the Giga Semi Factory coming online and no more waiting around for battery packs, since Giga Nevada will be pumping out those massive 900 kilowatt hour packs on site, it's actually looking pretty doable. The Tesla Semi really does feel like something straight out of the future. We've talked before about its torque vectoring drive axle. That thing's got two plaid motors that can actually disconnect when you don't need all that power. So when you're just cruising on flat roads, those motors shut off and the high efficiency drive axle takes over. That's a game changer right there. One of the biggest reasons why the Semi is so different from anything else out there. Another really cool feature? The way it handles on the highway, especially going uphill. Unlike traditional diesel trucks that slow way down on climbs and risk tipping over. If they try to go too fast, the Tesla Semi keeps going at full highway speed. There are reports that it can climb a 10% grade at 60 miles per hour, even fully loaded, without breaking a sweat. And honestly, we don't know of any other fully loaded truck in the world that can do that. If you do, let us know because we've never seen it happen. And the brakes? Super impressive thanks to regenerative braking. Not only does it help recharge the battery, but it also adds a serious safety advantage. The brakes never overheat. Drivers still have to stop at mandatory brake check stations, but many say the brakes are cool to the touch every time. In fact, the semi could probably go downhill even faster, 
but drivers are required to stick to the legal speed limits. Either way, it's wild to see a Tesla Semi cruising uphill while traditional diesel rigs are slowing down or struggling. Shooting for a million Tesla Semis or even more is a huge goal, and it gets even bigger when you consider what Elon Musk said the Tesla Semi is going global. That means not just the US, but also Europe, Asia, and beyond. Now Tesla does already have gigafactories across different continents, which definitely helps, but there's a catch. They'll need to tweak the semi's design to meet local trucking regulations. For example, in Europe, the rules around truck dimensions are way stricter. If you've ever noticed, most of the heavy-duty trucks over there have that classic flat front boxy cab that's not by accident, it's because of the rules. Um, we're also uh, building uh, the Tesla Semi factory. Uh, this is a vehicle that some people said was impossible to build, um, that it defied physics. Uh, well, not only does it not defy physics, we're going to be making a lot of them. Like Elon Musk said, people think the Tesla Semi is somehow breaking the laws of physics because, yeah, those performance specs sound almost too good to be true. But in reality, Tesla isn't defying physics. They're just pushing the boundaries of what's technically possible today. And honestly, it's totally normal for experts to be skeptical, especially when those numbers blow past everything else in the industry. So let's clear up a few things that some folks might not know about the Semi. First off, it's packing a massive 900 kilowatt hour battery, yet it only uses about 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. And yes, it's been officially tested and confirmed to go 500 miles on a single charge, but Tesla's not stopping there. The next version, you can call it Semi Gen 2, will swap out the current 2170 battery cells for the new 4680 cells, and production will move to a new facility. And that's a big deal. Why? Because the 4680 tech delivers five times the energy capacity and six times the power output that means the truck can go even farther without needing a heavier battery pack. And when you're talking about electric trucks, weight really matters. A lighter truck means more room for cargo, so better efficiency and better profit for fleet operators. Now, let's talk price. The Tesla Semi isn't exactly cheap. Reports say the 500-mile version could cost around $250,000, while the 300-mile version might be closer to $200,000. Elon hasn't confirmed those prices, but they line up with what we've seen. For example, PepsiCo reportedly used a $4.5 million grant to buy just 18 Semis, so yeah, it adds up. We're not denying that electric Class 8 trucks usually cost more than traditional diesel models. For example, a report from the American Transportation Research Institute says a diesel Class 8 truck runs around $180,000, while an electric one can go for over $400,000. But that higher price can start to make more sense when you factor in the lower operating costs and long-term savings electric trucks offer. Businesses are always looking to cut fuel costs, lower maintenance expenses, and boost their bottom line. According to Tesla, charging an electric truck costs about half as much as filling up with diesel, potentially saving truck owners up to $150,000 in just the first three years. That's a pretty big deal. With operating costs around 30 cents per mile, a 6.5 mile trip only costs about $3.30. Meanwhile, a regular diesel truck would burn through at least a gallon of fuel for the same distance and at around $3.66 per gallon, that's a much pricier option. On the flip side, there's a big difference in maintenance costs between electric and diesel Class 8 trucks, and diesel almost always costs more. That's mainly because diesel engines are complex machines with hundreds of moving parts like pistons, valves, and camshafts, which wear out over time and need regular upkeep. Diesel trucks also require oil changes, fuel filter replacements, and routine maintenance on the drivetrain and transmission. Electric trucks, on the other hand, have a much simpler setup. They don't need engine oil changes and have fewer parts that can break down. Plus, they use regenerative braking, which significantly reduces brake pad wear compared to the traditional braking systems on diesel trucks. According to several studies, maintenance costs for electric trucks are 40 to 60% lower than for diesel ones. On average, a diesel truck can cost between $20,000 and $30,000 a year to maintain, while an electric truck typically costs just $8,000 to $15,000 annually. So even though the upfront price of an electric truck is higher, the long-term savings on maintenance make it a smart investment, especially for transport businesses looking to cut operating costs 
and reduce downtime for repairs. But you know what? Executives actually confirmed in a previous meeting that customers can buy the Tesla Semi in a configuration that fits their specific needs. For instance, if your daily driving range is only around 150 miles, you don't have to shell out for the 500-mile version. You can go with the 200-mile battery pack instead. And yeah, that's exactly why some folks are able to get the Semi at a lower price, even with a starting price of $200,000. It's honestly a game changer. In a recent live stream, Elon Musk doubled down on the idea that the new Semi is packed with revolutionary upgrades, the kind of economic advantages no other electric truck on the market can match right now. Specifically, Musk mentioned that the Tesla Semi will be even more advanced once it's equipped with full self-driving which is expected to roll out in the near future, especially as Tesla ramps up mass production. If that happens, it could seriously shake up the entire long-haul trucking industry. Full self-driving would ease a huge amount of pressure off drivers on long trips, even though they'll still need to step in when necessary. It gives them a chance to rest, stay alert, and ultimately reduce the risk of fatigue-related accidents. One of the main reasons for the ongoing truck driver shortage is the tough working conditions. Drivers often don't get enough rest on long hauls, and the constant noise from traditional diesel engines can take a serious toll on their health, pushing many to leave the profession altogether. In fact, the rising number of accidents caused by drowsy driving really highlights just how grueling this job can be. Of course, full self-driving isn't the only factor that makes a heavy-duty electric truck safe. To maximize the safety of the Tesla Semi, engineers have been rigorously testing it in all kinds of conditions, especially in icy and frozen environments. While the Semi has proven to be reliable in many different operating scenarios and has delivered impressive performance, the reality is that it still faces some challenges when operating in extremely cold and snowy weather. When it comes to electric vehicles, cold temperatures are always a concern, especially when it comes to the performance of lithium-ion batteries. In cold weather, driving range decreases, charging times get longer, and energy consumption increases because both the cabin and the battery need to be heated. While the electric motor itself runs smoothly, the drivetrain and cooling system can run into issues if they're not optimized to handle these harsh conditions. On top of that, the heavy weight of the truck, while improving traction, can make it harder to move on slippery surfaces like snow or ice unless the traction control system is properly calibrated. That's why many electric trucks still face challenges when operating in extreme weather conditions. The Tesla Semi, however, has really gone through years of testing in winter conditions. It's been spotted undergoing tests in Alaska just before Tesla started mass production. So it's clear that Tesla is taking the Semi seriously and putting safety at the forefront. You know, we actually have a shortage of truck drivers in America. That's one of the limiting factors on transport. Um, people are human, so they get tired and sometimes, and, you know, there's, you know, I have a lot of respect for truck drivers because it's a tough job. Um, but because it's a tough job, there's not that many people that want to do it. There's more people leaving truck driving as a profession than entering it. Well, we're going to have a real logistics problem as time goes by. So uh, autonomy will be very important to meet that, that need. Elon Musk has repeatedly highlighted the truck driver shortage in the U.S., calling it one of the biggest barriers for the trucking industry. He has expressed deep respect for truck drivers, acknowledging that the job is not only tough, but is also becoming less appealing to younger workers. In Tesla's recent fourth quarter financial report, company executives admitted that the number of drivers leaving the industry is outpacing the number of new drivers joining, which could pose serious challenge for the supply chain in the future. That's why with the mass production of the Tesla Semi combined with full self-driving technology, the trucking industry is about to enter a new era. Drivers will no longer have to bear the pressure of constantly driving long distances, significantly reducing fatigue and improving working conditions. This is not just a major breakthrough for electric trucks, but also a potential solution to the labor shortage in the transportation sector. Beyond the economic and technological benefits, the Tesla Semi also plays a crucial role in environmental protection, with the heavy-duty transportation sector accounting for a large portion of global emissions. Replacing diesel trucks with electric ones like the Tesla Semi will help significantly reduce CO2 emissions, pushing towards a more sustainable transportation system. This is an inevitable trend as countries and companies continue to prioritize eco-friendly transportation solutions. 
by significantly reducing emissions from diesel trucks, which account for more than 25% of total fuel consumption in the U.S., the Tesla Semi has the potential to make a big impact on reducing environmental pollution. It's no coincidence that electric trucks are being encouraged and supported by governments around the world. The EU has reached an agreement requiring manufacturers to reduce the average emissions of new trucks by 45% by 2030, 65% by 2030-35, and 90% by 2040. This means that most new diesel trucks will be phased out by 2040. In the U.S., 14 states have signed a Memorandum of Understanding and joined California in aiming to eliminate all diesel truck sales by 2050. So, we're pretty confident that electric trucks will definitely take over in the coming decades. Just recently, we got news of a tragic late-night crash between a diesel truck and a Tesla. The collision resulted in one driver's death another being hospitalized, and over 100 gallons of fuel spilling on the turnpike. Officials say a semi-truck hauling a double trailer crashed into a concrete barrier and collided with a Tesla, spilling over 100 gallons of fuel from the truck. Strangely, the semi-truck driver was the one who died at the scene, while the Tesla driver survived and was taken to the hospital with injuries. 100 gallons of diesel fuel is a massive environmental pollutant. There's no denying that. Even though production delays have limited the number of units available, the Tesla Semi has truly revolutionized the long-haul trucking industry with its impressive performance. In other words, it's fundamentally changed the way many people view Class 8 heavy-duty trucks. More specifically, this is the first time in the world that an electric truck can directly compete with a diesel truck, something no other electric truck has been able to do before.